Hello everybody, this very important diagram, how to draw the trade creation diagram. Remember to have watched my theory video on this first, then you'll understand what I'm drawing here. Trade creation is a very simple diagram to draw, it's just the removal of a tariff. So let's get started by labelling our axis with price on the y-axis and quantity on the x-axis. Now we need to draw our market, and the market we're going to draw is an EU market. So we're going to have supply EU and demand EU. So this we are assuming is a market within a customs union. The EU is a customs union. We're in that market and we're going to assume that uh, another country, we call it a domestic country, is currently outside the EU. Therefore any exports for this country to the EU must have a tariff, a common external tariff, on top. So we'll draw a supply curve on here, and that is the supply curve of a domestic country currently outside the EU, therefore there is a common external tariff imposed on all imports coming into the EU from this country. The price reflects this uh, supply curve, so we'll call that PD plus T. And at that price, domestic EU supply is at Q1, domestic EU demand is at Q2, and the excess is satisfied by imports coming in from this domestic country outside the EU, but with this common external tariff on top. Now, if this country joins the EU, what happens? Well, this tariff automatically is removed, because remember what a customs union is all about. When you join it, there is now complete free trade with all member nations. So if this country enters this EU customs union, this tariff is now completely abolished, which shifts this curve downwards. So supply domestic shifts downwards to reflect now that there is no tariff on it whatsoever, which reduces the price to PD. So you draw all of this, you put the arrows on to make it clear what you're doing. What now happens? Well, with this lower price in the market, EU supply has contracted from Q1 to Q3, and EU demand has extended from Q2 to Q4. We are not quite finished yet. Now we need to shade in a few parts of these diagrams to make some important analysis points. We're going to shade in this right-hand triangle here. We're going to shade in this left-hand triangle here. We're going to label this a gain of consumer surplus. And we're going to label this a gain of efficiency. If you want more clarity on why that is, watch my theory video for you to understand it. That, guys, is the diagram completed. It looks beautiful. It's just a tariff in reverse, the removal of a tariff. So let's go to our checklist. Have we labelled our axis? Yes, we have. Have we labelled all of our curves? Beautifully done. Have we labelled all of our equilibria, relevant equilibria? Yes, we have. It looks stunning, doesn't it? Next. In our checklist, what were we trying to show? We were trying to show a tariff removal. Have we shown that? Yeah, absolutely we have. Have we shown a lower price as a result of this tariff removal? Absolutely. Have we shown a high import quantity as a result? Well, imports before were Q1, Q2, coming in from the domestic country with this external tariff on top. Now with the tariff removed, imports have increased to Q3, Q4 units. So we've made that clear. We've shown trade has been created, a movement from a high-cost domestic producer to a low-cost producer within the customs union now. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Practice this one, a very good diagram, and I'll see you in the next video.